Welcome to Electron Online. Our next geometric figure is a triangle. And they don't tell us that it's a right triangle, so any shaped triangle. So let's go ahead and put down a triangle like this. There we go. And then they tell us that the base of the triangle is two centimeters longer than the height. So this here would be the height. And this here would be the base. All right. So since the height is the shortest of the two dimensions, we can then say let x equal the height. And so since the height is two, two less than the base, the base must be two more than the height. So then x plus two is equal to the length of the base. Okay, now we have the two dimensions, the height and the base of the triangle, expressed in terms of x. Now they give us a hint here that the area is equal to 12 centimeters. And for triangles, the area is equal to one half the base times the height, which means in this case, the area being 12, 12 is equal to one half times the base, which is x plus two, times the height, which is x. And here we have a quadratic equation, which we must solve for x. First, let's multiply both sides of the equation by two to get rid of the fraction. So I'm going to multiply the left side by two and multiply the right side by two. When we do that, we get 24 is equal to x plus two times x. So now the fraction is gone. We can now multiply everything together. We get 24 is equal to x squared plus two x. And moving the 24 across, we get 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 24. Now we can go ahead and factor that. So we get 0 is equal to the product of two binomials. We get x and x. And sign-wise, we must have a positive and a negative because when we multiply, we get a negative 24. When we sum them together, we get a positive 2x. That means the positive number must be too bigger than the negative number. When I multiply, I get 24. Hmm, 6 and 4 comes to mind because 6 times the negative 4 is negative 24 and 6 minus 4 is a positive 2. That looks like it's correct. Well, if we multiply two binomials and they, that product is equal to 0, that means that either x plus 6 must equal 0 or x minus 4 must equal 0 which means that either x is equal to minus 6 or x is equal to a positive 4. But again, since we're looking for dimensions of a triangle, only the positive solution can be the correct solution because we can't have negative lengths, which means that the height is therefore equal to 4 and the base is equal to 2 more or 6. And then if we give it a try, half the base times the height, half the base is 3 times 4 is 12, and that is equal to the area direct of the triangle. And so it looks like we found the correct solutions. That's how it's done.